think that most of you maybe have uh, familiar with me and also today I'd like to talk about different learning styles and also professors student relationships because I'm from China so I will concentrate on discussing the problems in China so actually we, we Chinese students developed a very passive learning styles from our past 15 years of learning experience back in China so our typical learning circle is like listen to the professor in the classroom and then make detailed notes. After the class, after the class, we finish the assignment by ourselves and then we take the exams. Also, our, I mean, our school performance are mostly evaluated, evaluated by our final exams. That is a closed book thing, it's very hard. And you, and you yourself is the only person you could rely on. However, I mean, I think American students developed a very kind of um, active um, learning attitude and also ability. I mean, you like to ask questions in the classroom, interact with the professors, and participate in their uh, classroom discussions, and even make this kind of in, uh, presentation very often. So actually, you know that you have to I mean, work in, in, in a team because you have team assignment, team project. And you know you learn how to deal with uh, conflicts in a team, uh, in in a team and uh, among team, uh, team members. Um, so we international students have some difficulties after we bring our learning styles come uh, into the American classroom. First of all, we uh, we feel uncomfortable to ask questions <coughs> in the classroom because in our perspective, asking questions is indicating that you are not paying attention to the professor. You don't know what's going on in the classroom. <laughs> and also, um, it is kind of indication that you're not smart <laughs> enough. <laughs> I mean, okay, how, uh, what, what's more, it's like, I mean, it's also implied to interrupt the professor's logical thinking in the classroom. Um, if you're pointing out some very irrelevant or very stupid questions. So, however, I mean, sometimes for ourselves, it's, it's hard for us to decide which kind of question is stupid, which kind is not. So the best way for us is like to keep silent in the classroom and then find, uh, find a chance to ask your question after the class. However, I mean, um, you, if the professor won't stay a long time in the classroom after the class is finished, and some, pro some professors and lecturers didn't have a very regular office hours, so our questions like never could be solved. And the second point is like, um, we don't like group discussion, not only because their language barrier, not only that because that we are not comfortable with, uh, about our, our speaking uh, ability, but also because that we are kind of don't like to speak in front of so many people. We are afraid that um, our words is wrong or we are think too much about the other, pe other people's reaction to our words. Um, for example, I'm standing here in front of you, so I still feel very a little bit stressful because I think that maybe some of my points is too extreme that will you you cannot accept my ideas or something like that. So that so even if it's like me, I have this kind of idea. So how about I mean other students in the classroom? So that's the reason why they I mean a little bit feel um, inactive in the group discussion. Um, not in addition, not only we Chinese students are very passive in learning style, but also very passive in the um, professor and student relationship. Because and in China, there, there is a hierarchy in the education system. And teachers may think that it is a very good way to establish an authority over students. They think that it's a good education methodology. And so, for example, in our primary school and middle school, um, you have to follow the instructions and do exactly what teachers told you to do. And if you are um, misbehaved, you might be asked to the teacher's office and even forces like they will inform your parents about your wrongdoings. So it is never a good news to be invited to a teacher's <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah, this is true. However, I mean, after when we graduate from middle and uh, high school, we, we entered college. So the learning environment is more like uh, is a little bit more relaxed. But however, the habits we developed from our high school and primary school still exist. So we are very hesitant about communicate directly to the professor. 
because we think that oh, there might be some poten potential troubles will come to find me if I am related to the professor or have a very close <coughs> relationship with them. So that's the reason why even we came here, we felt um, uh, a little, uh, also very hesitant to, to communicate with the professor. However, I find that actually and the, the student and professor relationship is more equal in the American uh, campus. <coughs> for example, I think uh, most of the, um, and for, for me, it's like if I want to turn to help to a professor in the School of Accountancy, and they will bring me like, hi, Corinne, how are you today? What can I do for you? And that this kind of greetings make me feel um, relaxed and give me the courage to point out <laughs> my request. And most importantly, most the, the um, if your uh, request is reasonable, they will be satisfied because most of the professor and the, uh, other faculty members are willing and also ready to help you. So I think that's the differences. And also one difference is like, is like most American campers didn't have that much, that big student base. So that means that more time could be uh, used by each student. So all these elements need to a more uh, need to a closer student and professor relationship in the American campers. However, uh, not all international students and also Chinese students notice this po these points. So that's the reason why we take the initiation to uh, dealing these issues in school of accountancy. And we also want to put it out in, into spread it out into the whole Daniels. Um, so what I'm talking today, what I'm talking today about the learning styles and also the pro, uh, professor-student relationships is, is like uh, it's all about the gen general situations. There are many exceptions and also improvements in China now. However, we could not deny that these kind of um, negative influences are still influencing our um, and Chinese students' daily behaviors. 